Hello, my name is Rick. Ciao, my name is Millie. And this is episode eight. Otto. Of season four. Quattro. Of Yogs Ago. Oh my yeah, God. I'm, yeah, I'm singing it now. <laughs> yeah, it's the evolution. Get on board. We're going back, back, way back, back in the past This is not our first season and it won't be the last We've been thriving deep down and won't deprive you of more And breezing through the door is season four And for too long now she's been stuck in the dark So we're gonna shine a light on Joan of Arc And you know it's the show where we go with the flow As we learn about people from yonks ago Give me yonks, hey me yonks, hey me yonks, hey go Hey me yonks, hey me yonks, hey me yonks, hey go Cause you know we will grow everything that we know All about somebody from yonks ago Give me, give me, give me Gimme, gimme, yonks ago. I say, gimme, 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 yonks ago. I say, go so. Here we are. We're back. We're here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, look, not much is up. It's been a while again. Even though we promised to use the calendar to yeah. effectively plan future <laughs> things. Um, full disclosure. Look, I've just come off the comedy festival. He's a busy. He's a busy lad. I um, and that on top of Millie's, you and your hectic work schedule mm-hmm. um, meant even though there were some gaps, you know, some coinciding gaps. I was giving all my creativity to the yeah. comedy festival audiences yeah. um, and just needed my downtime to be exactly. downtime. Exactly. Uh, so apologies for the long wait. Well, how long has it been? Oh, it's been only been a few weeks. Yeah. Surely. I mean, we've, we've made them wait I longer. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> the Yonky Doodlers are a patient breed uh, and they have to be. We haven't been a weekly podcast for a while now. Nah, nah. Sporadic, week, uh, sporadic uh, historical updates exactly. is what we're, we're famous for. Yeah. Um, in fact, I think it makes sense for each episode when you think back, when was the last episode? Yonks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so it's on brand. It's in the name. Uh, um, but we're here now. We made this happen. Yeah. We pounced on it. I've only been off the comedy festival for like a day. I had a, you know. Exactly. So this is how quickly action takes place <laughs> when other outside influences are nipping at our heels. <laughs> exactly. Like a little yappy dog. Oh. Yeah. That's right. Are Imagery. They, are they known for nipping at heels? Yappy dogs. Oh, that's their main thing. Oh, all right. That's because they're right there at heel level. Just wear like higher shoes. Yeah. You know what? You know, get steel heeled boots. You get steel capped boots. Yeah. Where's the heel protection? And as we know, heels True. are famously a weak point for many people. Yeah. Achilles, Achilles and, Jinx, yeah. and others. <laughs> <laughs> and yet no one. No Achilles one's... really started that trend. Yeah. Um, but it has, he hasn't caused a palpable change, even though he's become a cautionary tale yeah. for anyone who's getting too big for their um, for their boots. Yeah, uh, you know, look out for your heels, and yet no one's reinforcing <laughs> the heel. That's crazy. No one's got an Achilles toe. Well, I guess there's some shoes that have like quite sturdy like covering of the heel. Name one. Like some good boots. You imagine? I reckon they're all weak at the heel. No. I- like, they're quite sturdy. Like a chunky heel. But I reckon still, like, an arrow could get through that. Oh, yeah. So, if, from if you. From a skilled bow and arrow. If it's not. Archer. Archer. If it's not steel capped um, and an archer could, you know, take you out if necessary, yeah. then you're not doing your job as a bootmaker, as a cobbler. Yeah. Get cobbling. <laughs> a hole in the market and a yeah. hole in the heel. Um, and it's there to be fixed. <laughs> Uh, I th- the people don't know they need reinforced heels until we tell them they yeah. need reinforced heels, and then if, they go, "Why?" And then we've we've already got the Achilles story locked and loaded. Yeah. Otherwise, Achilles really he died for nothing. Exactly. If, Do you want Achilles to have yeah. died in vain? In vain. <laughs> I don't. Not me. Nah. Although, um, what kind of a person do you reckon Achilles was? Um, I, I don't know much about him. Yeah. Well, Did he- was, did he have it coming is what I'm saying. Pro, well, you know, they were all a bit sketchy back then. They were all a bit <laughs> sketchy, fighting for dodgy reasons. Yeah. I like your face, going to go kill some people. Yeah. Stuff like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so look, I, I don't want to get fully behind Achilles until I've done more yeah. research. Are you saying Achilles? Uh, probably. Yeah, it's pissed me off a little bit. Uh, how do you? How should I be saying? Achilles. I just get the hit the kill. There's no R. I know. Okay. Yeah, I know. There's no R in Achilles. Yeah. Uh, I'm th- I'm probably mixing Achilles up with R. Kelly, which Achilles would not yeah. appreciate. <laughs> Achilles. Yeah, it's just like I, I bury the. Uh. Personally, I don't know if I'm saying it right, 
but I just prefer Achilles better. But you just better. don't want me to say it, Achilles. It just doesn't. It doesn't sound pleasing to my ears. I would like some sort of Achilles R Kelly mashup, <laughs> uh, just a documentary series where someone has Make confused it happen, Dad. someone has confused the life of R Kelly and Achilles. Um, Ar Kelly's, <laughs> yeah. the Ar document docu series. Make it happen, Dad. Uh, uh, look, don't be I'll, waiting around for other people. I put it on my to do list. Yeah. <laughs> my Ar Kelly's heel, <laughs> and what then I'm I saying. could say Ar Kelly's. Yeah, uh, and you can't complain about that because I made it up, <laughs> and it's a real. And that's how you say it. And if you don't say it like that, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, but we're back on uh, Joan of Arc, which we can all agree how to pronounce correctly. Joanne yeah. of Arc, <laughs> <laughs> as is appropriate. Yes. Uh, and we left Joan. Uh, she had triumph after triumph. She's succeeded in getting the crown on uh, Prince Chucky Jr.'s head. He's now King yeah. Chucky Jr. But unfortunately, he has now evolved into King Schmucky Jr. Because <laughs> uh, that crown has given him a sense of, do I need Joan anymore? Yeah. Uh, and I would say he devolved. He did. He devolved. Yeah. Uh, the crown did not make him a better man. It made him all the worse, as crowns so often do. Yeah. Bad crowns. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Never helps. <laughs> only hurts. Um, and so uh, as soon as he's got the crown on his head, he's making truces with Bur- with Burgundy. Yeah, don't be doing that. With the Burgundians. He's like, let's not fight no more. Um, and he's got whispers in his ear. Mm. All the power brokers at the court are like, oh, you're you probably should, you know, keep an eye on Joan. She's getting a bit powerful. Mm. People say she's sent from God. Everything she does seems to back that up. <laughs> that could be a problem for you, King Chucky Jr., because um, you're the only one who's yeah. supposed to be so intertwined in a godly sense, yeah. you know, apart from the church. And that they've got their own thing going. <laughs> and so, look, all of this is going on. Um, our, our hero of the hour, uh, Joan of Arc, is off with John of Alençon, yep. her BFF. Mm-hmm. The, um, they are the dynamic duo when it comes to conquests. Yep. And they want to take Paris back from, from Burgundy. Why not? Uh, and they're all about to do it until King, Ch- King Schmucky Jr. Uh, sabotages their bridge plan. Lame. They, they um, had tried and failed to take Paris. They came up with a brand new spanking plan. And uh, the King Schmucky Jr. would not allow it to happen. Uh, and then they used the fact that they didn't succeed as evidence that maybe Joan of Arc wasn't all she was cracked up to uh, be. Ah, yeah. And that's where we left the story with King Schmucky Jr. undermining the legend of Joan. Uh, after all He's she's... got it coming. Mm. I'm King worried for him. Schmucky. Um, and so not only uh, are people starting to whisper uh, that maybe Joan isn't all she's cracked up to be because she couldn't take Paris. Yeah. Um, after the defeat, uh, the scholars at the University of Paris. Oh, sheesh. Bloody scholars got involved. It's <laughs> never a good sign. Go do, your, go do your essays and stop <laughs> worrying about what Joan's up to. Scholars at the University of Paris, the U of P, uh, <laughs> argued that she failed to take Paris because her inspiration was not divine. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> They're like, not oh, from God at all. They put a cancel. They put a, mm. um, uh, a just a tentative question mark. As Taylor Swift said, whispers turn to talking and talking turn to screams. I think Joan of Arc might have experienced a lot of the um, emotions that Taylor went yeah. through, especially during this I period. I think Joan of Arc would have been a Taylor stand. Oh, 100%. And vice versa, I hope. Yeah. Uh, if Taylor doesn't know about Joan, she certainly should do some research. Yeah. Because there's, <laughs> there's a lot of parallels. She, well, I reckon... In research, you should just listen to this podcast, really. 100%. We'll send it through to her, see what she reckons. Yeah. We'll get some feedback. <laughs> um, we'll hear what Tay-Tay has to say, say, about, um, about JJ of Arc. Nice. Um, and so, look, there's question marks all over the place because of the sabotage. Yeah. There's been some sabotage from King Smucky Jr. I mean, he's played it well. Oh, well played. Props to him. Yeah, as soon as he's got but the crown. Hmm. I don't think it's – I feel like it's not going to work out for him in the end. And then in September, just a month after the failure in Paris, King Schmucky Jr. disbanded the whole army. What? Um, and Joan was not allowed to work with John of Alençon again. Oh. She split them up. They were, like the, they were like the noisy kids in class. Oh, dear. She's going, you two, split up. She, they, oh, the no. dynamic duo has He's been... He's turned right into the villain of the story. Oh, that is cruel. They, I mean, these two, when they work together, when they put their heads together, yeah. there's nothing they can't do. Bro, it's like he wants to fail. Like, what's going on? 
King Schmucky Jr. is... Does he not remember how he got to where he is today? He has forgotten. Yeah. He's not remembering the people who got him where he was. Yeah. Uh, he's got too many voices in his oh, ear. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It's giving in Lord of the Rings, mm-hmm. the, t- the two towers. I was about to say the... Anyways. Um, <laughs> you know, when... What's his name? The like worm tongue or whatever yes. is whispering in the king's yeah. ear and he's all ugly. Yes. That's what's happening That's to King Schmucky. He's getting, but I reckon he's got about six or seven worm tongues yeah. all telling him I just different well. stuff. Um, so he's copping it. And yeah. that's why he's making very bad choices. Yeah. It was much easier when he just had Joan out the front. Exactly. Um, getting stuff done, not worrying about, well, is this right? What's the best way to go about it? She's just like, we need to do this. Let's do it. That's what and I'm she saying. She did it. Yeah. And now he's all like, oh, but maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. People are you suggesting shouldn't. this. Yeah. It's all gone pear shaped. Um, so she's been split up from John of Alan's son. I'm gutted. Yeah. Then in October, a month after the, um, the breakup, <laughs> Joan was sent as part of a force to attack the territory of Perinette Grissart. <laughs> Say it in a French accent. Perinette Grissart. <laughs> yeah. Perinette Grissart. <laughs> He's a mercenary who had served the Burgundians and English. So I've got to say, this is a very, it's a small, it's not big picture stuff. Okay. This is let's so keep Joan. So they've her. Yeah. Keeping Joan busy in the backwaters. Yeah. Fighting local ruffians. Yeah. <laughs> essentially, are you? Is this part? Is this a key battle of a war? No. Nah. <laughs> this is like basically breaking up bar fights. Yeah. It's disrespectful. Yeah. Um, I'm not trying to throw shade on Perry Negresar. I'm just saying his history does not think of him <laughs> as a major power broker. Yeah. In any sense. Yeah. Um, it's just a mercenary <laughs> who flew the Burgundian flag and King Schmucky Jr. is like, take, just yeah. teach him a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> you know, take your, take your holy, your holy self, your, your fancy sword, your, your, your <laughs> God-fearing shield, <laughs> sword out, perne. Um, so off they go. The army besieged. Uh, Do we still have um, the two bros? Um, I forget. I forgot their talking, names. Um, One J uh, name Bertrand and the, de yeah, yeah, that guy and J Metz. Yeah. Uh, look, they don't get mentioned, but I think we can say for sure. Yes, we do. You, you can't break those guys nah. up. Yeah, nah. that's what I'm saying. Um, uh, they're always by yeah. Joan's side. Yeah, nonstop. Uh, so they've come along, um, and with their little army, they have besieged the uh, town of Saint Pierre Le Mortier, uh, where Perenay's hanging out, uh, <laughs> and that town has fallen. To their Rip. forces after Joan encouraged a direct assault on 4th of November. I mean, so once again, yeah. Joan's, uh, everyone's like, what should we do? What's the best way to go about it? Joan's like, we march in, we take it. <laughs> it's how Joan gets things done. And JMS like, what, what? Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, Bertrand de Poole and Jay's like, you heard, Joan, let's yeah. go. <laughs> and so off they go. Um, uh, so 4th of November, they take that and Perenay Grissa, what's he going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. The army then tried unsuccessfully to Take La Charite Salore. What? Why are they taking that in November and December? And they had to abandon. Uh, they tried unsuccessfully to take. Oh it. well, now what's going on here? More sabotage. I reckon it has to be sabotage because um, jo- when Joan wants something, she gets it. Yeah. Um, so in November and December, they abandoned uh, the attack and they had to abandon their artillery during the retreat. So they're leaving all the good stuff behind. Yeah, not good. Uh, and this defeat further diminished Joan's reputation. So she yeah. got a quick win on the board. That's what I'm like reputation Taylor Swift. Yeah, but then, yeah, it turned, that win turned to, to turn to an L very quickly afterwards. Mm. So she's she's racking up defeats and I've got to assume um, not her fault. Uh, yeah. Everything I know about Joan is she's got someone – Pulling strings behind the scenes, who is definitely working to make sure she doesn't get yeah. the W's that yeah. she's accustomed to. Uh, King Schmucky Jr., I blame you. Me as well. Mm. So Joan returns to court at the end of December. Uh, well, let's and, go. And she learns that she and her family have been ennobled by King Schmucky Jr. as a reward. For her services to him and the kingdom. Oh, there you go. So he's feeling generous. She's come back, another failure on the board. Yeah. But he's like, don't sweat it, Joan. You and your family are now not peasants. Mm. I'm, I'm, up, I'm up a class again. Yeah, you. yeah. You think you're a peasant? You're not no more. You're always like That's a just another high play class. in his game. It, oh, mate. Like, I'm going to keep sabotaging you, but look, I'm a nice guy. Yeah, hey. And everyone's like, oh, look, he's rewarded Joan yeah. for all her hard work. I think this is another way to keep her 
keep her on the keep her yeah. on the down low. Buy her off. Yeah. Keep her in the behind the scenes. She won't be a problem anymore. If if she starts complaining, you say, oh, "Look, I made you a. Yeah. I, I elevated what you above you your want? station. Yeah. Um, I've I've done all I need to do. Yeah. Stop whining about it. <laughs> you failed me time and time again. He's going to keep playing up <laughs> yeah. the, the L's instead of the W's and pointing to how kind and generous he has been. Classic Schmucky Junior yep. gameplay. Yep. He's um, and I tell you, Jones not. This is not Jones' forte. The political machinations. No, no, no. She's a battlefield pro. Yeah. She'll, um, yeah, she'll get it done in the heat of battle. But this backroom manoeuvring, she doesn't have time for it. Exactly. Not interested. And that's why she's so susceptible to it and they know it. Yeah. Um, so her and her family, um, but in uh, on the other hand, her family must be stoked. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, They're like, this is paying off. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, we are living the life. <laughs> Before the September attack on Paris, uh, Charles had... Oh, neg- back in time. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is why he'd sabotaged it. Uh, Charles had negotiated a four-month truce with the Burgundians. Oh, true. Um, that's why he had to... Sabot- that's why he had to... Because Joan was going to do it, but come a hell of high water. He's like, nah. She was like, I want Paris regardless of yeah. truces. And Chucky Jr. was like, it's not happening. My four-month truce has to stand. I'm blowing up your bridge, etc. <laughs> um, uh, so he negotiated a four-month truce back in September and then he's, he's extended it until Easter 1430. Long Sheesh. truce. But the, the thing about this truce is the French court has no need for Joan. She's yeah, useless to them. Uh, no. So they've paid her off. They've made her irrelevant. Yeah. They keep extending the truce. She's like, where, where do you need me, boss? Put me in the game. Yeah. And he's like, there is no game. Yeah. There's no game, mate. Have a rest. <laughs> yeah. Go. You're not a peasant anymore. Relax. <laughs> Take the armor off. Yeah. Stop dressing like a boy. <laughs> well, I know it's your brand, but game over. Yeah. All right. Your race is run. Uh, they are definitely trying to get Joan um, hanging up the boots. Yeah. It's like uh, we're retiring your you, you yeah. Guernsey. Thanks for making me a king. Yeah. That's all we need you yeah. for. We'll, we'll sing songs about you. Don't worry. Yeah. Probably mainly focusing on those times you lost because <laughs> we don't want people thinking about how good you were back in the day. Um, uh, but thank you for your service. Get out of here. Stop yeah. bothering us. Yeah. Uh, we, we're also a bit scared of you. We think you might be crazy. Yeah. You keep talking to angels. It's weird. <laughs> um, so during this truce, while Jones, you know, figuring out what to do with herself, the Duke of Bur- Burgundy. Oh, yeah. The head of the Burgundian forces. You know, it's truce time. But he's, he, he's a scary lad. He's, um, he's like, all right, it's a truce and everything, but I'm going to go around and reclaim all the towns <laughs> which have technically been ceded to me. Like they're technically my towns, but the towns haven't submitted their official paperwork. They're sort of still going around saying we're Armagnacs yeah. in our hearts. Gotcha. Like officially on the map. They've listed us as Burgundian, mm. but we're, we're not on board the, Bug- the, yeah, Bur- nah. the Burgundian boat. Yeah, don't we're not we're not going <laughs> to fly. The, they're like the districts in in the in the capital. After you know, they'd rather do the Mockingjay yeah. single than than salute. You know, yeah. Um, the cent the what's the central city? What's that? The capital. The capital. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> in the sentence. <laughs> no, I said central city. No, but the, like the districts in the capital. Oh, did I say capital already? Damn. Yeah. And then I have immediately forgot the word. <laughs> that's, what, that's why I was like, so, oh, that's funny. <laughs> so there's kind of a rumblings in the districts. Um, yeah. And so your Bur- Burgundian's got um, Governor Snow vibes where he's like, let's just go let them yeah. know that the, the, the capital's where it's at. Yeah. Um, so they go. So Burgundy's uh, sent his army on a tour <laughs> just to make sure people are flying the right flag yeah. and that they're swearing allegiance to the right people. Indeed. Um, and they'll do that by force if necessary. So it's kind of a grey area of yeah. the truce. Yeah. It's like, hey, it's why a bit are you dirty? Bit dirty. Why are you fighting all these um, cities during truce time? It's like, we're not fighting them. We're just laying down the law yeah. to our city. This is my city. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So off they go, and then um, there was one town in this uh, that fell under this compan compagnie. Oh yeah, period. Uh, which was one of the one such town in many of the areas which the Armagnacs had recaptured over the previous few months. Yeah, and um, I think Joan just had a particular fondness for Compagnie because she sets out with a company of volunteers. Oh, so she's gone. She's, she's gone just, rogue. Yeah. At the end of March fourteen thirty, 
to relieve the town, which was under siege from the Burgundians. Yeah. So she's heard Campagny, officially Burgundian. The Burgundians no. have come to put, bring them into line. Yeah. They're not having it. They've asked for help. They've sent the flare up into the sky, put the bat signal, whatever they've got. Yeah. <laughs> Joan sees it in the clouds. She's like, they need me. Yeah. What am I going to do? Who's with me? It's not an official mission. J-Metz is like, J-Metz, I'm there. Yeah, J- I mean, J-Metz Where are we and, going? J-Metz and uh, Bertrand de, de Poulanger signed up already. Then they yeah. were handing out the sign-up sheets. Yeah. Do we uh, get any more characters? Uh, let me see. The expedition did not have the explicit permission of Chucky, yeah. as we knew, Schmucky Jr., um, Whatever. Who, who was still observing the truce. He's very passive. Mm. But some writers suggest that Joan's expedition to Compagnie uh, without documented permission for the court was a desperate and treasonable action, but others have argued that she could not have launched this expedition without the financial support of the court. So I reckon she might not have had Schmucky Jr.'s um, yeah. permission, but someone, you know, so cheeky – like getting the sponsors in the Hunger Games. Yeah. She had some speak cheeky sponsors yeah. who were pro-Joan. I reckon. They're like, let's get Joan yeah. writing some wrongs out there. Yeah. Build Joan back up again. Yeah. Um, so she's off there. And in April, Joan arrived at Mil- Milan. Milan? Oh, Milan? Mm, not Italy. Mi- no, not in Italy. <laughs> it's, it's spelled M-E-L-U-N. Maybe Milan became Milan. Yeah. I don't know because this is all of the – probably all in the Melou. same area. <laughs> Melou. <laughs> So Joan arrived in Maloum, <laughs> which had thrown out its Burgundian garrison. Go and get! Mm. Not interested in Burgundian business. Um, as Joan advanced, her force grew as other commanders joined her. Oh, people are on board. Classic yeah. Joan. Now, see, when they liked and subscribed, yeah. you can't just – it's it's hard to unsubscribe then. No. Nah. Yeah. It's and difficult so people to heard, let that go. Joan's on the move. Yeah. Well, like they've been waiting. Yeah. I mean, like, they'd heard what had happened. They'd gone, surely Joan hasn't retired for yeah. real. And they're like, no, Joan will be back. Joan will be back. And then all of a sudden, rumblings on the battlefield. Like, Joan's coming. I mean, it works when you got Bertrand to pull and Jay on the DJ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The beat. I so mean, he got the beat. Yeah. I recognize that. <laughs> 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 uh, no, I, I know that beat. It's J- just like. Jay Metz can also, like, break dance as well. I reckon Jay Metz and Bertrand to pull on Jay, uh, you know, uh, when Bertrand to pull on Jay would summon the people with his beats. So that they knew Joan was coming. Yeah. That's what inspired Mr. Whippy, uh, like the ice cream vans. Oh, yeah, for I sure. Think that all stems yeah. from Jay Metz and, yeah. and, uh, and Bert- Bertrand to pull on Jay on the battlefield. Yeah. Because that's what I was doing. So yeah. Making sure people knew Joan's on the move. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon they also like were doing like some flash moby type stuff with the other volunteers. Yeah. Like step up kind of. Oh, yeah. To engage. Yeah, yeah. Engage, uh, like, oh, what's going on? To drive oh, engagement. Let's join this because like flash mobs, you can do some easy moves so everyone can get yeah, involved. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we got to follow these besties. Once you've danced with a flash mob, you feel connected to the people. Yeah. You feel like you're, oh, we're all part of the same same exactly. tribe. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Anything. They were masters of engagement. Yeah. Um, and so their force has grown. Joan's troops advanced to lagny Saman and defeated uh, an English and Burgundian force. Sheesh. Commanded by the mercenary Franque de Arras. <laughs> Franque! <laughs> Just smashed him. Yeah. I mean, this was a mighty fight. And, and the vibe in this uh, force was off the charts. Yeah, it was crazy. It was the comeback. It was the yeah. comeback fight. Yeah. This is when she's entered her reputation era. Yeah. And she's going to take people down. Yeah. Um, so she's um, – so all right. So they've command, They've taken – they've beaten Frank K uh, and they captured him. They, oh. they captured you Frank K. I reckon Frank K is a good guy. Uh, I've got, got, oh, you no? got good Frank K vibes? Uh, he's, he's giving. Tip, typically in this situation, yeah. normal rules of battle, uh, he would have been ransomed or exchanged yeah. by the capturing force. They would use Frank K – as bargaining chip, yeah. uh, get something done. Again, political manoeuvrings. Yeah. But Joan allowed the townspeople to execute him after a trial. Oh, ma- so Poor this Frank is, K. like you say, this is, Joan has entered a reputation era but might have leaned a little too much yeah. into the drama, into yeah. the dark side, yeah. into, the, into her bad bitch phase. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's like. Rules dictate I, 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 I use this, this guy, I ransom, I, yeah. I treat him fairly, I let them know what do they want, we'll give him back. Nah, 
Townspeople want to kill him. I'm going to let him. Yeah. We'll have a trial. Guess what? They're going to find him guilty. They're definitely going to kill him. <laughs> um, so Joan's getting a little ruthless. Yeah. Uh, her comeback too has got a darker but edge. But hey, maybe I was wrong about Frankie. Maybe he was really rude. Um, yeah, I think you might have misjudged maybe, Frankie. Maybe he said something really rude and she was like, well. Well, look, the townspeople were pretty keen to execute him and yeah. that generally infers he was not ruling the townspeople yeah. in the kindest, yeah. m- fairest manner. He had a good name though. Frank A. Yeah. <laughs> I think he used that name for evil. Yeah, I think so. Um, so, but again, I don't know I don't know if that makes it right. Just because Frank A was, was doing wrong by the townspeople yeah. doesn't mean you can throw him to the wolves um, and, and let all, you know, yeah. diplomacy fly out the window. Joan... There's a there's an asterisk against your motivations now. There's a there's mm. you have you gone fully fully rogue? You've gone out. You've you know people were happy to fight by your side, but this isn't the way she used to fight. Yeah. Uh, or was it actually? I've actually now that I say that, I do have a memory of her just uh, wiping out people who'd surrendered just That's to true. make a point. Yeah. Actually, this is this is classic Joan. Yeah. And I mean, she didn't do anything. She let she's, the townspeople do it. Yeah, I take it back. This is <laughs> this is <laughs> pretty active. tame, actually. She likes to let people know she she didn't come to play. Yeah. Um. And Franke, I don't think Franke took her seriously. Franke's yeah. got a real vibe of someone who's like, "You're bluffing." Yeah. <laughs> and he was probably mocking so. her, like, uh, yeah. "Yeah, what are you going to do? You're going to ransom me? Whatever." Yeah. <laughs> We've got so much money. Um. And so yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Now that yeah. I think about it, I take it all back. Yeah. This isn't uh, this isn't a dark era. This is this is just her stamping her authority once more. Exactly. Letting people know Joan's back. Yeah. Uh, and game on. Mm-hmm. You thought game over? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Game on. <laughs> game on. Um. Beautiful. All right. So Joan's back. That's yeah. where we're at. All right. I'm excited. And um, I think we'll leave it there. Um, uh, we'll leave it there with Joan on top for. Yeah. For, for for a comeback tour, um, and we'll find out what happens next. But oh, thank goodness! But I've got to tell you, it doesn't feel the same. Uh, her winning these battles without John of Alençon there, yeah. but at least we do have Jay Madsen, Bertrand de Poul. He'll be Jay. back. I mean, he must be back. Reunion is coming. Mm. Um, when he's needed, surely. Yeah. John of Alençon will answer the call. Yeah. Um, he he would. They would have separated them a long way, so he wouldn't have even heard the beats on the battlefield. Yeah, yet. nah. He's got no hint. Yeah. Um, so welcome back to the battlefield, Joan. Um, good to have you leading the forces once more. Indeed. Um, and now she isn't even a peasant uh, called by God. She's nobility. Yeah. Out there rocking the battlefield like no one's business. Not all of us can say that. No. I mean, we can, but not about all of us will be telling the truth. <laughs> Some of us will be lying. <laughs> Like real hard, yeah. Filthy lies. Frank K would say. Frank K yeah. says it not stop. That's why you got to kill that man when you get a chance. Yeah. Kill, if you see a Frankie, kill a Frankie. Yeah. So I've always said that, <laughs> <laughs> and I always will. Um, so watch out, gee whiz. Lovely, lovely to be back um, podcasting with in you. In the Millie. kitchen, yeah, back in the kitchen. Let's go. In, in between our hectic schedules, hopefully we will be able to podcast again soon mm-hmm. as we enter the month of May. Crazy month. Yeah, it's got a nice vibe to it. It's May bird, so lots weird. Lots of like, birthdays and like, Mother's Day and it's Eurovision. Still, it's still in the like the first half of the year. Mm. But then like June is so weird. Like Then it's like, oh, mm-hmm. suddenly we're not in the start of the year anymore. Yes, that is correct. May, June, June's <laughs> got that whole vibe of it's the middle of the year, whereas May's doesn't yeah, – May's got its own – It's like, oh, we're still chilling in January. Mm, but it's got an inevitability about it, yeah. May, where you – May just feels like – What does it feel like? You've left the start of the year behind. Yeah. Um, you're entrenched in the year. Yeah. There's no, there's, no, there's no denying that you're entrenched in whatever the year is that it is. Yeah. Whereas all leading up to that, there's yeah. a sense of I can't believe how fast the year's going, yeah. blah blah blah, which is still there. But it's May's got a sense of mm. this is the year now. Yeah, get on with it. Yeah, mm. yeah. No, I get that. Mm. And yeah. and it's that's that's the month of it. And then it, once it's June, then yeah. the year just flies by, and yeah. it's basically the end of the year. Because as soon as June's over, you're like, oh, it's second half of the year. It's yeah, basically, over. it's going to be huh. Christmas before we know. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so May's the only real month of the year, I'd say. <laughs> The first four months of the year are all like, oh, I can't believe it. It's yeah. not really 2023. Oh, it's already Easter. Oh, what? Oh, no. It's, <laughs> it's, and you're still like, oh, I feel like it's 2022 still. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then June is like, it's the it's 
Oh, it's winter. Yeah. Shit. It's, the, it's just the mid, mid, it's the hump of the year. Yeah. And the rest of it's just like, it's basically the end of the year. It was basically June two seconds ago last year. <laughs> yeah, like, right. I'm not even joking. So, shout out to May for being the only true month yeah. oh, of you just, any year. You're biased. I know, because it's my birthday. Yeah. It's a special month. Yeah. <laughs> that deserves a celebration. May is also the month with the least amount of letters. I think I, think it's time. I didn't. I just decided that. Oh, of course it is. It is right. Yeah, right? only three yeah. letter, three letter month. Yeah, can't get more succinct than that. Yeah, and there's no nonsense about it. It's not like February with its weird R and, yeah, and nah. hard to say. Yeah, and and then of course, as we as we know famously, after um, uh, July and August stuffed up the whole um, October for eight. Yeah, yeah, they stuffed up the suffix prefix prefix. Oh, of- sept. Oct. Yeah, so no. all of the months are wrongly numbered yeah. after that. So that just throws the whole feel of it yeah. out. Um, July and August are interlopers. They yeah. they just wedge themselves in the calendar for lols. Yeah. Um, yeah, so look, May on, in many respects is the only month that does exist and should exist. All right. Everything else is a, <laughs> is a lie and deserves our disdain. Yeah. Um, so. Do you prefer having, well, I guess you, do you prefer having May in autumn or would, what do you reckon about it in spring? Yeah, I mean... Have I, you ever experienced May in spring? Have you ever been over the other side? Have I been in May? I feel like I must have been in Europe in May one time. I, I feel reckon. like when, we went, when Bridget and I went to Paris, it was in <gasps> May. But, Paris? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we took Paris. <laughs> yeah, it was easy. I don't know what Joan was worried about. <laughs> Just get it done. Uh, no one blew up the bridge, though. That's yeah, the, we didn't have anyone sabotaging yeah, yeah. us. Uh, yeah, so I feel like yes, I have experienced a um, uh, a, a do you spring have a May, and I think no, nah, it's, it's I can't I'm I can't get past it being autumnal. Wait, as in you like it in yeah. autumn? Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't feel it doesn't make sense. You know, you, you you're just getting indoctrinated. I'm confused. What side are you on? Uh, autumn. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I feel yeah, sad yeah. about it. I'm on I'm I'm, aut- I'm on autumn side, yeah. but I feel like that's just the way I've been. Oh, you feel like just because you. I feel like I here. shouldn't necessarily be because yeah. I love spring. Yeah. And I love May. Put the two no. together, surely I should be happy. Yeah. But because of because I'm just uh, yeah, I, yeah I'm annoyed that I'm so susceptible yeah. to to my environment and to how I was yeah. to what I've experienced that I can't just jump on board the spring in May train. Yeah. Shame on me gotcha. is what I'm saying. Yeah. But that it is what it is. Yeah. I'm accepting it. Yeah. <laughs> Regretfully. <laughs> Um, and that's how I am, you know. I know what I am, yeah. but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sums me up. Yeah. It is sad that we don't get um, Halloween in. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. That's October that's, just feels autumnal. Yeah, it, and April just feels spring. Don't you reckon? Yeah, it should, October and May should be autumnal. Yep, and yeah, yeah let's we, we, we need to sort this season. calendar out. Yeah. <laughs> The calendar is gone. Is no good. Let's bring October back to the eighth month. Yeah, September in to spring. the seventh. <laughs> no, in, not, in autumn. Let's the eighth just, month has to be in autumn. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then let's just remove all the months and just have May. Mm. All right. Look, we've, yeah. we've got a fairly hectic bit of calendar reorganization ahead of us. Could take us some time. So yeah. if there is a bit of gap between episodes, it's probably because we're working on a brand new calendar. Um, uh, but rest assured, we will be back uh, at some point in our new calendar. With a whole oh. brand new episode of Yonks A Go! Nice. That was, that was real lovely. <laughs>